Um, anonymous question. Is it possible to believe in Jesus yet never have a change of life? My father cheated and lived with his mistress. He said he believed in Jesus yet never came back home to live with his family. Well, let me say two things. Um, one, I don't think it's possible to believe in Jesus for general, you know, for many, many years, for say 20, 30 years and have no change of life. I don't think it's possible because when you put your trust in Christ, you are filled with the Holy spirit. Now, how do you measure how much is that enough change of life? You know, that I don't know how to measure those things. And, and I don't know that we're supposed to, I, I think that with, with little to no change of life, we, we, we say to somebody, oh, I, I'm not, I'm not confident. You're really a Christian. It doesn't mean you're not. I just can't be confident because I don't see the evidence. Um, but but the other thing I'd add to this is, is that it's really hard for us to evaluate our parents. Like we're, we're, we're very, un, we're very biased sources. We, we are, I am too, right. With my, with my dad, with my mom, I've got so much, um, bias in there. Plus his sin against leaving the family with a mistress. It wasn't just a sin in his life and you're evaluating. It was a sin against you. He abandoned you guys. He left you. He went and lived with this woman and he never repented of that. Apparently he never came back. So I, I think that there's a lot to be said there. It was Jonathan. There we go. I, I thought it was a J Saul and Jonathan, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I got that wrong. Yeah. Interesting thing about names in the Bible. Um, Nathan is the guy that rebukes David. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm ADD now because I'm just tired. Nathan's the guy that rebukes David because of his adultery, right? He goes, you are the man. He calls him out, child dies. When they have another child later on, they name him Nathan. And I wonder if David did that because of his gratitude for the prophet Nathan and even confronting him in his sin. And I think that's an interesting thing that might be there. Um, so anyway, yeah, David and Jonathan were best buds. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just saying this. When you evaluate your your dad based upon wounds that are still open in your own life, it just it just it's not that you're wrong. It's hard just to be the guy evaluating that. So, I I would maybe just get on the fence on the issue and say, yeah, I don't know. I mean, how much of my dad do I really know? Sometimes we don't even really know our parents very well, to be honest. We know them as our parents, but we don't know them as people very well. Their friends know them a lot better than us sometimes because, even especially if we didn't grow up with them, didn't live with them, um, we view them through like little kid eyes, even though that, you know, it, it just becomes hard for us to evaluate them. And so that's a challenge. Um, 